In this tutorial, I'd like to talk about effects chains and how these can be used in your productions. Especially when it comes to the mixing stage, but having a few trusty effects chains can really help speed up your workflow. Let's work on one of these synth tracks. How about this one, the square wave? Solo it and take a listen. That'll do. Now go into the inspector. Click on the R or use the shortcut F4. Now move down here to the insert section. If you click on this arrow, it brings up a choice of effects chain presets that can be used. For this track, let's use an instrument effects chain preset. And how about using the sweetened lead preset? Load this up. Now take a listen to it with this effects chain on. You can go in and bypass each effect just to hear what it sounded like before. And this is a global bypass. You can click this to turn the whole effects chain on and off. Let's start from the beginning and listen to each effect as it's applied. First you have this groove delay, which is bouncing the sound around in the stereo field. Then there's a reverb to give the sound a sense of space that it belongs in. And after this is the Tricom. This is a three band compressor that'll even out the dynamics on the track after the delay and reverb effects. You'll hear that it brings up the level of the track through its gain increase. These presets are handy to jump through, but how do you build up and save your own effects chains? That's easy. Just remove these. You can right click and choose remove. This will remove one effect at a time. Or you can click on the arrow here and choose remove all. This will remove all the effects on the track in one go. Now let's build up a new effects chain. Let's use the browse panel and drag effects from there onto the insert section. First, let's add an EQ onto this track. Scroll down and select the Pro EQ. Drag this onto the Insert section. You do have some presets that you can jump for, but let's tweak the plugin from its default state. Play back the track so you can hear how it sounds when you tweak the plugin. The thing I like about the Pro EQ is that it has the Spectrum Analyzer view so you can see where the sound sits on the frequency range. Let's add a low cut to cut out some of the low frequencies. That sounds nice. And maybe a slight high boost with this band over here. Increase the band and narrow the Q and sweep it around till you hear a good spot. Compare it before. Yeah, that's quite nice. Now let's add a compression. Drag this here to the inserts under the Pro EQ. Here is the compression curve that's being applied. Increase the ratio. Increase the knee. And see how the curve changes here in the window. Now drop this threshold and you can see some gain reduction is happening over here. Increase the gain here to make up for the gain that has been lost. Bypass it to compare. Now tailor the compression with the attack and release speeds. Bring down the attack. Compare it again. Just tightening up those dynamics on the synth. How about a delay after this? Grab the analog delay and drag it in. And bring down the mix parameter. Use the global bypass to bypass all the effects. 
This is how it sounded before the processing. Then the EQ was added with the low cut and the high boost. The compression to even out the dynamics. And the delay to bounce the sound around a bit. When you're happy with the effects chain you've built up, you can store it as a preset. To do this, go and click on this arrow here again by the inserts and choose Store Effects Chain. Now give this preset a name. I'll call it Gary Synth Preset. Nothing too elaborate, but that'll do. The beauty of this is that you can now apply the stored preset to other tracks. Maybe try it out on another synth track. Let's try this one over here. Solo it, play it back, to load this preset, go back to the Insert section, click on the arrow, and this has been saved in the Instruments folder. Here it is, right over here. Gary Synth Preset. Bring that up. That recalls the preset on the track, and now you can go in and do some slight tweaking to each of the plugins to tailor it for this new synth. Adjust the low cut frequency, and shift the high boost around. And maybe a boost here as well. Bring up the compression and increase the gain. That's how to build up your own effects chains and store them as presets which you can recall at any time.